Set in the Irish Hills in southeastern Michigan, the Michigan International Speedway has hosted NASCAR racing for over 30 years. Now, the track was built in 1967, and one of the lead designers on the project just happened to be the same guy who designed Daytona. So it was pretty much a guarantee that the track was going to be a winner. If you're running for the season championship, you'll be racing here twice, so you want to spend plenty of time getting to know this place. Michigan is a two-mile D-shaped oval with a wide racing surface like its sister track out in California. That wide surface will let you go three wide here pretty easily, and that makes for some great racing for the fans and the drivers alike. The banking in the turns here is 18 degrees, so the laps go by pretty quickly. If you're good, expect to qualify near 190 miles per hour. You'll need to make wide entries into the corners to turn really fast laps at this place. But be careful because if you go too low, you'll get those left tires on the apron, and that'll make your car swap ends in a hurry. As usual, keep an eye on that right front tire because it can take a real pounding out there in Michigan's long, sweeping corners. Okay, let's get down to business and check this place out from inside the car. Here we go. Crossing the start-finish line, you're in the middle of the track and running over 190 miles an hour. Work the car toward the outside wall as you approach turn one. You'll be doing over 200 as you pass the first caution light after the groove starts. Right then, roll out of the throttle and lightly feather it as you start working the car down toward the apron line. At the apex of one and two, start to increase the throttle while continuing to work down to the apron. You should be running around 165 or so as you enter turn two. Get back to full throttle as you go through two and let the car drift toward the wall. At the top of the back straight, you should wind up very close to the wall and doing close to 175. Keep it at full throttle until you get to the darkened groove that leads into turn three. You'll be running just under 200 miles an hour at that point. When you reach the groove, roll out of the throttle all the way and work the car back down to the apron. Right as you hit the apex at three and four, you'll be doing about 165. Now start to roll the throttle back up. As you come through turn four, get back to full throttle. You'll drift up toward the wall as you exit turn four, but you'll have a lot of room there. When you hit the front stretch, you should be doing about 175. As you approach the start finish line, drop to the middle of the track to straighten out the long curve on the front stretch. This time, we'll go through without pausing so you can get a feel for how the track flows. You'll be able to do laps of around 39 and a half seconds when you've got fresh tires. Later on, you'll need to roll out of the throttle earlier and get back on it later if you want to hold this same line. That's Michigan, folks. We've been concentrating on getting through the corners here, but keep in mind, it's also important to take full advantage of those long straights, so adjust your gearing and tape with speed in mind, and be sure to use the draft whenever you can.